in 2019, this particular set, the foundation to give back to his anometer, which is the tradition we have put over the year. Online coming back to give a lasting legacy. So we decided to set up a foundation called Medicals Foundation. And then as we say more about the foundation as time progresses. And just coming in is our chairman the Ketika Committee, CME organization, that's Professor Ademola Oremusu. So we I would like to call on Dr. Victor Akere to do a little introduction about their foundation and what they are going to give back to the College of Nursing. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, all. Provost. David okay. and the um, principal officers present. My name is Dr. Victor Kake, as we have introduced, and the, I'm an alumnus. I'm a graduate. Fake. I'm a graduate of the 2003 set of the College of Medicine. Yeah. And a few years ago, myself and my colleagues came together and, do I speak without it? Yeah. A few years ago, myself and my colleagues came together and we decided to find some way to give back to our alumnus to see what it was that we could do. So what we chose, what we decided was to create a scholarship where we would award scholarships to students renewable every year as long as they fulfill conditions which include passing their examinations and being of good character. So, but in order to do that, we had to do it through proper, proper channels. To that end, we set up this non-profit organization called the Medicals Foundation. So that's the sole aim of the organization is to support medical and dental education in Nigeria. And this is our first project. What we're doing is really coming from ourselves, from the graduates, from the alumni, coming together, doing what we can, and progressing. At this point, because when we were here a couple of years ago, before COVID, it was the three at the back there that were in front receiving their awards. I'll say their names again. We've got Oluche, Olufeli, John Mwokocha, and Deborah Ojo. Here we are, a couple of years. Here we are, a couple of years later. We have five more to join them. So in total, we now have eight scholars going through every year. As long as they pass their exams and fulfill the conditions, their scholarship will be renewed every year until they graduate. That is our point to them, that is what they do. Now we realize that due to COVID, there was a bit of a hiatus, which is why we have got five now, because we're trying to speed up to catch up instead of um, instead of just three. So it's all in a bid to move things forward. So not to take too much of everybody's time, um, at some point we have made little plaques as tokens of our promise to them um, in respect of their scholarship, which I will hand out to them um, at the appropriate moment. But it does seem that this is the appropriate time. So, going forward, it's because of it. 
Thank you very much, Dr. So, okay. representing Wagyu 2036. And this is a wonderful gesture by the class. The college appreciates it very much. Um, before the presentation of it, I was to the recipient. Right now, the provost wants to say a little word for, for that. Provost. Because 
we are aging, and after a while, certainly all that set members will leave for the greater beyond. And how do we ensure that there's continuation? So the result is that I'm putting up uh, a solar, 40 solar panels in the library now, which is something that will last, and all we need to do is to just check the batteries. So I know when you get to that time, you're probably be thinking about something, not to say you stop sponsoring students, but also to do something additional. Also to remind you that come October, you know what's happening in October? The college would be how old? 60. 60. 60. 60. And uh, we are set up a committee that would uh, midwife the celebration. And I'm sure we shall be getting in contact with you. And since you are here, I said it's probably better to raise it so that we begin to think about it. Uh, we'll set up a small committee to raise funds for the college, and I'm sure they'll be getting in contact with you. Back today, I wish to congratulate all of you. Uh, I understand there is a young man here who happens to be the, the son of the deputy provost. I'm sure your interview process is very rigorous, and it's not just that because he's the son of the deputy provost, so that it actually merits being with the award. What does YBC mean? Medical Foundation YBC 2003 scholarship. I thought the yearbook committee is just to bring the year, the celebration of that year, class of that year, together and publish a book which will be something each member of that set will remember forever. So their pictures are there, what the, their, 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 their qualification, their likes and dislikes. Uh, uh, so when it comes to why this is not this quality, I really don't know. I'm sure I'll explain that. Anyway, thank you very much for what you've done. Uh, before you, I said I thought I might just add one or two words uh, before you start your your award, your presentation of your award. Thank you very much. All medical and dental students, MBBS and BDS. For some reason, which we're yet to understand, we got very, very little um, response from the BDS students. And um, this time around, there, we, we did have one or two, but our, our, our application process is quite rigorous. And at the end of the day, what we want is quality rather than quantity. So I appreciate that it does seem a bit um, lopsided towards the MBBS students, which is why we because some of our trustees, um, some of our strongest supporters are dentists. And so what we thought about is we want to come up with a sort of prize or an award for the BPS students or the dentists, the dental students at some point in their, in, in their education. Possibly a subject like dental pathology is what we're thinking about. So we'll need to have a conversation with the right people and see if we can institute and want something to redress the imbalance. But for, for the moment, it's, that, that's just the way it is. Yeah. Yes. And the um, YBC main yearbook committee, um, initially it was the name of the committee that would produce the yearbook. But as years went on, YBC became the identity of the set. So each set identifies himself as YBC 2003 or 2004. So it's, it's, it's become our tradition in a way. And that's, it's, it's very that's, that's, that's the origin. So um, coming to the presentation of the award. So um, I shall. Um, how about the students that are going to talk of the scholarship? Now, the scholarship in monetary and scholarship, each student receives 150,000 naira. And that's renewable every year as long as they pass. As long as they pass. 
we have to we have to look at it. We should. I know your selection process. They are not likely to, but something can happen. But the first thing. So first is can you make the Joseph Ukenye. Close to prose, 
and um, the money came at the very right time where I could purchase those books and thank God we did well in the professional exam to level level and um, I'm sure when the results are out for 300 level or so um, full, full testimony so once again I say thank you to Medicos congratulations to my new scholars to my new co-scholars and to the management board thank you and I also want to thank Dr. Fake and the Medicals Foundation for giving us, for finding us worthy to get this award. It's, it's a challenge to us too, because we can see that you've, gone, you've been where we are and you've gone forward and you're coming back to do good things for people that are behind us. And this is a challenge for us too, so that when we graduate, we can also remember to come back and help the college. In so thank you for the award and for being and inspiration to us. Thank you. Members of the movement and distinguished audience, we want to especially on behalf of the management and staff and students of the college and the 203 YBC Foundation. Maybe we said earlier this morning about the fact that we are grateful indeed to you and your set for remembering your grandmother as one and for giving joy to many families that are represented here. Uh, you have the testimony of that young man. He said the reimbursement of last year came when he actually went to buy some books. He was able to use that money to prepare those books and give very, very exactly general exams. That's his actual works. We feel that God will continue to strengthen you and, and bless you and work. It's tell your colleagues that our thoughts are with them for good will or for, for better things of life. We will always monitor you to the audience, pray around with you, and make sure that um, uh, whatever the project can do to, to, to appreciate you at any time you also do. Thank you very much. And for the recipients, we have, I, I, I pray that you move from the other side of the, of the uh, resolutions of the foundation. We said if one does not do well, uh, they, they can dangle the heart. But I know that the Lord will help you. Yeah. And you will excel. Yeah. You will become of our powers. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for causing us to see this day, Lord. Bless your holy name in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for the Medicals Foundation. Thank you, Lord, for providing for them to give back to the school. Lord, pray that you accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Pray for every one of them in that sense that none of them would lack in Jesus' name. That as they are providing and causing joy in families, that you also cause joy to be in their families in Jesus' name. And their desires would be accomplished in Jesus' name. Amen. We also pray for our college that you also enrich them in Jesus' name. Thank you because we have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.